welcome back. So today I have a really fun video. It is a mid-year check-in. I'm not quite sure what we decided to title the name of this video. And I say we because it's a collab with some amazing other girls here on YouTube who have awesome channels. I'm going to leave everyone who's participating in this collab mid-year check-in down below. So check their channels if you'd like their recommendations. All of them have amazing channels. Summer, Mallory, Sam, Sherman. You probably know some of these girls and if you don't know some of them, definitely check out their channel. If you're coming from any of those girls' channels, hi, welcome. I hope you guys subscribe and stay a while to watch my videos. But we came up with the idea to do a mid-year check-in. So you know at the end of the year, typically in January, there is a yearly favorite, or like the best of 2000 whatever. And we thought that it would be nice to do like a mid-year check-in. Some of the girls don't do like a weekly favorites like I do. Um, so for some of them, it's really nice to have that what are you loving mid-year. Um, and then the other people who do have the check-in, it's like every Friday I don't really mention the exact same products. So this is just like an update of the products that are consistently in my favorites. I've probably talked about them in a couple of Friday favorites videos, but these are collaboratively, if I were to do my check-in of 2014 right now, what I would consider my favorites throughout the year. But um, I'm just gonna get right into it because you guys know I'm already long-winded as it is. So first things first, I wanted to start with eyebrow products. If you are a subscriber of my channel, you guys know that I am on an eyebrow quest. There has been a long journey with these brows and the products that I've consistently used throughout this year and that I think are my like holy grail products for eyebrows are the Anastasia products. I have the Brow Wizzes in medium brown and ash blonde. I use the medium brown to carve out the bottom, ash blonde to fill them in, and then I carve out the underline of my eyebrow just to give it a little bit more shape and a finished look. I carve that out with the, their concealer, and this is in 1.0. I love this. I don't like it for under my eyes. It creases under my eyes, but it is the perfect consistency to carve out or to touch up on any spots around your face. It's a little bit too creamy for me for under my eyes. If you have the most dry under eyes ever, you might like this under your eyes. It would definitely need to be set with a powder though. This is my holy grail brow routine. I love the brow wizzes because the consistency of them is the perfect mix of wax and distributing or depositing color um, on your brow without gunking up and getting too waxy. So if you're interested in my brow routine, I will link that video down below where I use these products more in depth, but they're definitely my probably holy grail standouts of 2014. I didn't a lot of face products but because I almost feel like that's like a separate video but I had to include this this is the first aid beauty triple remedy eye cream or I okay triple remedy instantly bright and deep puff smooth I like love an obsession and there's nothing better than this if you have dark circles, if you have puffiness, which a lot of people do. It's probably giving my friend Danny from Coffee Break with Danny anxiety to look at the cap of this because it gets dirty. But this is the best product. It has a metal tip and then the product deposits right here out of there and you just put it on under your eyes you just need a little bit. It's a salmon color consistency. It's really, really creamy. And I just put it on right on this line right here where I get the darkest amount. And then that's kind of where I get my puffiness. And then I take the metal applicator and I just kind of press it in. It just feels so cooling. It instantly depuffs. It has caffeine in it. I notice instant results as well as long-term use. You're going to notice results. But this is the best for instant results and I'm talking miracle instant miracle it has the brightener effect to it so I find that I use actually less concealer to cover my dark circles in fact I don't even have 
any concealer on today um, under my eyes because I just I skipped that because when I'm finishing up my makeup I don't find that I need sometimes concealer under my eyes because this kind of does it for me so and I hate to say that because then somebody's gonna buy it and they're gonna be like what the heck she lied but like I totally still need concealer you you probably still and I often do still put on concealer but this cuts down the amount of product under my eyes and that's a good thing for me. So this has been a standout. I use it every single day and I, I cherish it. Mwah. I love this product. For complexion products, there have been two standouts for me. The first one is this right here. This is from Dior and it is the Glow Maximizing Primer. This has like a pump applicator. It's almost like a golden... I can't even describe it because it just illuminates the face. And what I love doing with this product is mixing it with a full coverage foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and if you're wondering what the pump is on it, the um, CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 Outlast Foundation, the pump of that fits the Estee Lauder bottle. I don't know where I saw that but I saw it either in a comment on someone's video or someone commented it down below if you did on one of my videos thank you because if you don't want to buy also a MAC pump fits on the Estee Lauder Double Wear but if you don't want to buy a MAC pump and you have um, an old bottle of the CoverGirl laying around I just don't use the CoverGirl foundation so I switch the caps perfect so it still keeps so if I ever wanted to switch it back I can do that but anyways side note I love mixing these two together because this gives an all over glow illuminating like glow to my face and it's not too like hello how's your father you're going to a disco but it's that perfect amount of like radiating within and that's why I like to mix it with a full coverage almost like matte foundation because it just brings a little bit of life to it I like that in the summer to have a little bit of glow so I just mix these two together or I apply this first and then apply my foundation on top. Both ways work. So I love these two together. They have been a standout combination. I go back and forth between what I use to apply it. Sometimes I will use a Makeup Geek brush. Sometimes I will use um, a Sigma foundation brush. Oftentimes I will use my Real Techniques, um, like the Beauty Blender dupe, the sponge to apply it. Always work. But these two have been my go-to combination. I will either wear this foundation or the drugstore equivalent for me as far as full coverage and lasting all day is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped. That's like, that's my ish right there is that stuff. I love the Revlon Color Stay Whipped, but I feel like I've beat that with the, like a million times and everyone's like, okay, move on, Laura. We know, you get, we get it. You like the Revlon Color Stay Whipped, but I do. So if you check below on my videos, you'll see I kind of switch off on... I switch off in between those two foundations. Okay, for contouring my face, I, I had to. This thing is has been like it for me. Um, I've been using the Anastasia contour kit. I try and stop myself and it just doesn't happen. These three colors are perfect. I particularly use this color. I'm not quite sure. They do come out but they're like really in there so I'm not even going to try and crack one. Um, but I love these. They're, the colors are perfect. They blend beautifully. I have loved the NARS Ita brush or ITA brush. I don't know how it's said. It's that perfect shape to get right in there. I know there's a lot of hoopla about how expensive this brush is and a lot of people have said to use the Benefit box blushes um, brushes that come in those because they they look very similar and you can get the same effect so if you have like a hula bronzer from Benefit try that brush for the same effect but this is just perfect because it's that perfect um, shape and then fluff to really blend out that contour and kind of get it so I've been contouring my face every single day um, since I got this with this and it's almost like a greenish tint to it and I know that sounds bogus like you're like that would look like grossness on your face but it really looks it really looks more natural than some more orangey tone browns that I've used to contour with before. Um, but anyways, so three matte shades and then two matte highlight shades. Uh, these are perfect for setting under eye concealer. And then this is a beautiful shimmer highlight. And I actually, I'm not going to lie, I have not uh, played with this highlight as much. 
so I can't really speak to if it's like the most fantastic thing of life but I mean look at it right there I mean would you just look at it that's beautiful so I haven't really been going to the super shimmery highlights but this is gorgeous you just saw it swatched it's buttery it's creamy and Anastasia is just I actually think today just released whatever day I'm filming this released the um, refills so there's a ton of refills of different colors so you can customize your contour palette which is awesome um, but this palette this brush has been like standout go-to all I need perfect for traveling as well okay let's talk about eye products first I'm gonna start out by saying I didn't pick an eye palette that I could point down as like my favorite or my go-to or a standout through the year I I'm almost don't think I've had my like moment with an eye palette yet um, that one eyeshadow product that I really wanted to choose was a new moon the Chanel illusion day ombre and new moon that was a standout for me but I kind of felt like a brat picking that because it's sold out everywhere so yeah I didn't pick that because I didn't want to piss a bunch of people off but that's probably one of my favorite stand um so I didn't pick a palette I didn't pick any like real eyeshadow product because I didn't want to fake it for you guys and just be like oh I love this and and it just wasn't true when I was looking through stuff I couldn't find something that I use consistently consistently it might be because I don't particularly well you know I got a lot of makeup let's be frank here I have a lot of makeup and maybe it's that I like switch so often to try stuff and I just haven't been like so in love recently I've used the naked one palette from Urban Decay like for two weeks straight and I would say that that's like the biggest the longest that I've gone using something going back to them. I really do like the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I really do like my MAC eyeshadows. But anyways, the point of the story was I didn't want to pull something out because I couldn't 100% say, like, this is this is the jam. So I pulled out other eye products, and I'm going to speak to you about those. But this is the Jane Eyeliner in... This is Water Resistant Eyeliner. It's just in the color brown because they're super original with their names. They're like, let's just call this brown. That sounds great. This is super creamy. It's a perfect brown color, not too orangey, not too chocolatey. Well, it is chocolatey, so I don't know. It's just a perfect brown color. I'm, I'm trying to get too ahead of myself with describing things, and it's not really working out for me. I love this. Stays all day. I have waterline problems, so when I'm recommending a liner to you, trust me when I say that I've it, it has been tested. It has been tested on me because I end up with like crud in the corner of my eyes. It's like leaking down if I don't have the right liner. So I really stick with a couple of liners. Urban Decay 24-7 pencils don't really work for me, but these are the these are what work for me. And along with that is the NARS Larger Than Life. Um, this is in Rue Bonaparte. I couldn't find my black one right now, which is the Via Veneto. That's one of my favorites for a black, but the formula of these. This is a nude liner. I love lining my um, inner waterline with this Rue Bonaparte. It really brightens up my eyes. I've done that a lot this spring and summer, and I've loved it. These larger-than-life liners stay in my waterline like nothing else. They don't leak. They don't fly around. I highly, highly recommend them. For a liquid liner, I have been so impressed with this Jessie's Girl liquid liner. You can find it at Rite Aid or online, Jessie's Girl. This thing is like it. It comes to a point, I, I don't even know, like showing you on my hand just doesn't even do it. It's right there. It's super black. It, ha it gives like the perfect line. It makes doing wing liner like a breeze. It makes it look like you're a professional and I'm surely not. I love this liner. It stays all day on me and it's super inexpensive. Another one that I like is the Physician's Formula in black. These are they're very similar, but I, I love this one more. It's probably because my black one is kind of running out of ink and this is really, um, it's got a lot of, it's like wet. It sounds kind of gross, but you know what I'm talking about. It, a lot of product comes out, but not like too much. It's very easy to control. This would be a great liner for beginners, um, but I love this. Okay, for blushes, I chose three different blushes, and particularly, well, I like this formula, but I love this color. This is the Becca blush, and this is in the color Damselfly. 
this is just the most beautiful color ever. It's like a peachy, golden, shimmer, perfect color. These blushes are so creamy. Every time I wear this blush, I love the way it looks. It's that perfect, it has like golden sheen throughout it, but it's not a thick, like chunky sparkle, which sometimes I feel like um, Orgasm from NARS has. This is just a beautiful, perfect sheen. I love this blush from Becca. I've been loving the Becca blushes. They have so many amazing colors, um, but Damselfly has been one of my favorites. I also really like Songbird. That's a beautiful color as well. So check out the Becca blushes. You, they're mineral, they're called their mineral blushes. And they are so smooth, so pigmented, um, and just really apply beautifully. Another blush that was a standout for me was the new Hourglass blushes. I have a few of them, but these were my two favorites. This is Ethereal Glow, and it's a beautiful, really light baby pink. This is what I am wearing today on top of the other one that I'm going to show you. This is probably for if you have super light um, skin like I do. I kind of use it almost as a topper. It's such a beautiful baby pink color. I just love it. Um, the other color that I've been wearing a lot is called Luminous Flush. And this is like a mix of a brighter pink and I don't know like a beige color oh it's just so pretty so I've been mixing these two together they give a beautiful glow but what I love the most about these blushes is the way that they blend in they almost make it look like you're not wearing a powder product just because they blend into your skin so well that it, it appears as though you're lit within you know what now that I'm talking I forgot my um, makeup forever HD blushes those would be my favorite cream blushes. I'm not going to run and go get them, but I'm just going to give them like a little shout out right now is the Makeup Forever HD blushes. They do the same as that uh, product right there from Hourglass. I feel like they give that like lit within color that doesn't look like you applied product to your cheeks to have it happen. So um, those were some of my favorite blushes. I love this like peachy color and I love these two for pinks um, throughout so far this year. Okay I forgot to kind of talk about this when I was talking about eye products. I love this Milani Brow Fix. I keep this in my purse and I just have to say this kit is amazing. It's got like little tools in it which I love Oh, for the love of Pete. Okay, so it, <laughs> I'll get those in a second. It has a little mirror and it has these tweezers and keep all the tools right here. It has tweezers, a brush, and then like an eyebrow brush, like a miniature brush. Maybe I won't get them. I just don't feel like bending down right now. But these two colors are, I, I like them for eyebrows. No, not really. In a pinch, maybe. But these are really great um, eyeshadow colors. I love the pigmentation of these. I mean, they really are super pigmented. So look at that right there. Beautiful, like, little quick, simple eye look. But the star, oh, whoops, here, here are those swatches. They're, like, a little bit more on the cooler tone. The star of the show is this highlight shade. Like, just hang on a second. Look at that. These are so pigmented and holy mackerel. Okay, so that's that right there. I love that highlight shade. I love it more than most of my highlight shades. I am wearing that in the inner corners today. This thing just like completely livens up your face. I love it so, so much. So if you're looking for a really great, like simple everyday look, pick up pick out, pick up this Milani eyebrow kit because it's where it's at because it has everything you need just to create a really simple Anyways, look. that has been a favorite for sure of mine throughout this year. Okay, I saved the best for last and that is lip products. I'm like a lip product junkie. So this is really hard for me to narrow down what I thought was the best so far throughout the year, but I just looked like right in front of me, what am I grabbing towards the most? Still, it was hard because I had probably like f six other things <laughs> in front of me. Um, but this is narrowed down, so please take that into consideration that this is very, very narrowed down. Uh, because I do love a whole lot more. A whole, whole lot more. Because lip products are my favorite, like I just said. So, I love these lip crayons from Bite Beauty. Bite Beauty is probably one of my standout brands from the year so far. These are the high pigment pencils and they're in the color Madeira and this color is Syrah, S-Y-R-A-H. 
These are the perfect nude shades. One is a peachy nude and the other one's more of like a mauve nude. I love these two so much. So that is Syrah and that one is Madeira. These are extremely pigmented. They glide on. They're opaque. They just, I love the finish of them. These I find stay really well on my lips. Um, I really like the colors in the line. They have a lot of amazing colors, but these two have been my standout favorites. Speaking of NYX Butter Glosses, they, they're my favorite always. This one in Fortune Cookie is a newer color this year. It's like a nude, a really nice nudie cream color. I love it. I top it on top of everything. It's a great and expensive option if you're looking for one um, from the drugstore. These smell like cake. I can't talk more th great things about these. The only negatives, negative is that you would have to reapply it more often, but I don't mind doing that because like this is such a pleasure to apply that reapplying it just, it feels easy and it's something easy that you don't need a mirror that you can just grab out of your purse and reapply. This color fortune cookie has been a standout. I love it. It reminds me of this next one, which has been a favorite of mine, and this is from MAC, and it is the Lip Glass in Florabundance. It's just that perfect nudie peach color. These are very, very similar. This has a little bit more peach in it, and it's a little bit more opaque. That's right there. That's Florabundance, and that one is the Fortune Cookie, but very, very similar. So if you're looking for a great nude gloss, um, I love Max Floor Abundance. If you're on a budget, try um, the Fortune Cookie color from the NYX Butter Glosses. But these have been my favorite, like topping any nude look or lip look. These have been my go-to. So moving right along to the last products that are in my favorites, and it is these Gerard Cosmetics Color Your Smile Glosses. This is in the color Buttercream, and it's just the perfect baby pink color. I love these glosses. They have a light on them. They have a mirror on them. Very, very awesome pigmented glosses. These stay on me all day. That's the perfect pink color. Jaclyn Hill created this color. That's not why I love it. I just love these glosses. I love the color. They're, they have so many awesome colors, but this has got to be one of my favorites. This one in Sugar Mama, I really like that one, and the nude color. Oh, and I like Coral Craze. A bunch of beautiful colors, and they have a lot of deals going on where you can get like three, like a package of three, a trio of three for a really good price. If you're interested in a discount, I will leave the discount code below for those glosses. Um, and then the last product is what I'm wearing today. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. I have done a full video on these, I can't get over them. They're, they're honestly some of my favorite glosses ever or lip product. This is the Dior Addict Fluid Stick. It's like a opaque pigmented almost like lipstick in a gloss form. It's like a water, it's like a hybrid formula. It almost feels like water on your lips but I love I love these. They're not stains, but they just go on. This is in the color Kiss Me, which is my favorite. Uh, I love the way that they apply. They're opaque. They feel comfortable on the lips. I love the color selection, and I mean, I love the packaging on these, but that is just one of my favorite colors. If you are interested in seeing more swatches of the fluid sticks, I do have a full video on them, so I will leave that linked down below. I think I missed a ton of stuff like shadow sticks and all that business, but it's really hard to come up with your favorite products mid-year. Um, but maybe this is good. Maybe I will do a mid-year and I'll include that one in my full year and I won't repeat the products so that way I can get even more products in. But definitely check out Summer, Sam, and Mallory's videos down below. I know that they're going to have awesome recommendations of what they've been loving so far throughout the year. So I will leave those linked down below. And again, if you are coming from any of their channels, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope you guys will subscribe and stay a while. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.